good morning in this presentation we are going to see how we can trade in mcx copper today and for this week before looking into that let us see what happened last week and what we expected last week whenever i place the cursor on any candlestick you can see the date and time below so you can see this black color candlestick that indicates last week that was on 25th monday price opening what we expected last week was that we expected copper can maintain its downtrend completely having 436 as the major resistance zone unless until the price clears 436 initially on monday we had 442 as the stop loss zone then uh, later on we decreased that to 436 unless until the price clears this 436 uh, we didn't expect the price to reverse its trend so we expected that the market will stay in line with the trend now let us see what happened after that after the price opening around 429 you can see that uh, that was a very good consolidation that happened on monday the market completely stayed low volatile the next day you can see the price went and tested 432 the key resistance zone again it got resisted came down and it was forming a support around 428 we cannot deny the fact so the next day the price took this 428 and took it as a support and tried to stay above 432 but at last it couldn't sustain and closed below 432 so on 1st the price opened lower and come on it came down till 426 and i had marked this as a support zone i will explain why it is a support so the, from that the market gave a bounce back now it's staying below 432 this was the entire price action that happened last week on seeing the entire price action what we had understood is that so the price is price was taking a clear resistance around 432 there is no doubt about that but again every time whenever the price tries to bounce back what on seeing this price action two things are clear here you saw a bounce back and here the price tried to climb and also here the price tried to climb so what is happening is that the price is staying in light with the trend so we can in other words we can also say it is a consolidation with the trend it means that the price will stay in the same zone like the market opened around 429 the price closed around 430s so that is on seeing the entire weekly price action it is a normal but there is no bounce back the price tried to bounce back but again it was dominated by the sellers so it, it is called the price consolidates with the trend not against the trend that is the major reason for this so the price consolidated with the trend so normally this happens in any market so whenever there was a very big price drop the price consolidates then it decides whether it should move lower or it should go higher as of now the price is staying in line with the downtrend so what we can do for this week today also we are expecting the price to open somewhere around 432 or below based upon the comex price direction we are predicting the price opening so 432 or below which indicates that this 430 is also a major resistance zone so we can expect the market to stay in downtrend the, again this 36 is going to be the key zone so the most probably the reversals in trend can happen between 36 and 42 so 36 is going to be the very key zone for uh, copper uh, market so 32 and 36 when because we are going to wait and see how the price is going to react around 36 so till 436 you can go for selling uh, we need not go for buying in a hurry we need to wait for the price confirmation or confirmation for reversals so till 436 again we will test the market uh, so that uh, we make use of the trend completely again coming to the point of 426 uh, so this 426 this 422 so let us mark this 422 now itself uh, what is this 422 last week uh, we had gave uh, we asked you about uh, all the traders to uh, see the importance of 436 uh, you can like that uh, the same way if you go back and see about 426 and 22 the last year completely there was a two three month continuously the price consolidated in this 22 and 26 zone 
uh, in the histories of copper whenever the price trades are uh, near 2400 zone there was a huge price consolidation happened around 26 and 24 that marked as a all time uh, great support and resistance zone for copper market this 426 and 22 so in order for you to have a clear clarification you should do the work by yourself go back and see the price action that had happened in the past so purchase some uh, software or uh, data feed service provider who has got the histories of chart in copper so do this homework and then you will see the importance of all these zones so these are all very crucial zone whenever the price clears all these 32 22 zone it may look that as uh, everything is normal in copper market the market will be volatile and everything will happen whenever the price is staying within the zone so far, these are all the key decision zones in copper market so that that, that is the reason we uh, expect you to do some homework uh, so let us see what's going to happen during the trading session and thanks a lot for watching our videos. Happy trading. Take care. Bye.